Hi guys, so this is the three joint jaw setup and I call it the three joint jaw setup because it's got three jaw, jaw joints that are all skinned uh, to the mesh. So even though in this demo I'm going to show you uh, a couple of extra five joints for the controls, it's actually only three joints that are skinned to the mesh. So just keep that in mind now. The way that this works is we can grab uh, the top node here. We've got five joints all in exactly the same place. They're all just sitting there in, in the jaw. And we can grab the top one and uh, move around uh, that up and down. We can even like move it to the side and do all types of things. Now there's a couple of corrective blend shapes that are sort of kicking in there to help out help it out a little bit. But those corrective blend shapes are really quite minimal. Uh, next we've got the top lip individual control, so we can kind of like lift that top lip up by itself. Uh, that's actually what's skinned to the mesh is just that part of the mesh. If I break it, but uh, if we just sort of like go subtly, we can see that. Uh, next we've got the jaw open, so this is uh, just a null, it could be a locator or whatever, but uh, there you go, and you can see some nice squash and stretch happening with the corrective blend shape there. Blah. And uh, then we've got the, uh, the lip individual uh, down the bottom, so you can see that sort of working, so I'm just going to reset this to, to be zeroed out. And then we can see the, uh, the bottom lip individual control that we sort of see. And you come over to the side and you can sort of see that nice uh, squash and stretch happen there. And then we've got uh, just the, the bottom joint by itself. And there's a little bit of squash and stretch happening there as well. Uh, just as a, if you want to slightly throw off uh, things a little bit. Now, the advantage of this system as well is that we can grab these two controls here and we can sort of move them around individually so you can sort of see that kind of stuff happening there. Obviously the teeth, we could just move them out of the way in the animation. Uh, there we go, it's quite a lot of dexterity. It's a very fast system. Um, there's very little happening here in terms of complexity. Uh, and then uh, we can combine some of these. So you could, you know, we could grab the, the jaw and open it up, put on a bit of a weird axis or whatever. Uh, and then just subtly tweak what's happening with some of these bottom parts. You can sort of see this even on the side, sort of still squashing and stretching nicely in there. And we'll grab the top one and just move it up. Uh, and we could even grab the chin and then just, you know. So we've got a lot of dexterity um, from just really three joints that are skinned. So it's those three. They're, they're the ones that are skinned to the joints and all the others are just uh, a couple of null controls to, to help control it uh, with a nice hierarchy and then just some blend shapes just to help it out a little bit at the end so this uh, series of tutorials we'll, we'll see how we can build this and um, I hope you enjoy